Hi, I'm Congressman Ron Kine. Later today, the House of Representatives will be taking up legislation to end the government shutdown and get our government working for the American people again. It will also enable us to pay our bills, as any great nation is expected to, so we don't default on our financial responsibilities and become a deadbeat nation, along with the economic consequences that would flow from that. And it also calls for us to begin in earnest discussions about a long-term deficit reduction agreement to get our fiscal house in order. I will be supporting that legislation because it's time that the United States Congress stops acting as a hindrance to the economic growth and job creation we have right now and start partnering with the private sector in order to create that. The truth is a growing economy can solve a lot of these problems, including the budget deficits that we face today. But these artificial, self-inflicted crises that the Congress keeps committing to the U.S. and global economy has to stop. This certainly has not been our democracy's finest hour over the last few weeks. And one of the ways to resolve the difficulty and the dysfunction coming out of Washington today is for members of Congress willing to sit down and listen, talk to each other, and find common ground to resolve the challenges that we face as a great nation. That's why I've partnered with my good friend, R R Representative Charlie Dent from Pennsylvania, a Republican colleague of mine, in order to get a group of like-minded members on the Democratic and Republican side in rooms having these type of conversations to try to move our nation forward. We're going to need more of that, especially when it comes to negotiations over deficit reduction and our budgets. Tough choices have to be made in order to get our fiscal house in order. And it's going to require uh, the bipartisan cooperation on both sides in order to get it done. We have to stop allowing the extremes in Congress to run the show and lurch from one crisis to the next. No one should be taking any victory laps over this agreement that was reached in, in Congress uh, today. Uh, these short-term extensions is not healthy for our economy. What we need is greater stability and greater certainty and more of a Congress willing to function properly rather than setting up roadblocks and hurdles to the economic growth that we need. So more work will, in, will have to happen in the days to come, but I pledge to continue working with Mr. Dent and others to have these conversations and the ability for Congress to get back to regular order and start doing the business of the American people rather than a very narrow ideological agenda. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts, your comments as we move forward. So feel free to contact me on my web or by emails or, or telephone calls or look for me when I'm back home holding listening sessions. Thank you.